The houses on base have been around for about 20 to 30 years. When a family previously left housing, all that would be done to the house was fix the things that were broken so the next family wouldn't have any problems with the appliances. Now that has changed. Along with maintenance, the houses will be completely renovated once a family leaves. The major renovation, we have to actually go in, the contractor goes in and actually scrapes the floor up, takes all the old tile out, and knocks down, uh, puts new windows in the bathroom, takes out the old cabinets, installs new cabinets, rewires, replumbing. It's a major job for each unit. A family moving into a renovated house should be pleased with the new appliances that will be added to the house, such as dishwashers, garbage disposals, and new ovens. None of our houses have dishwashers now, nor do they have garbage disposals. And they have, most of the units here are still using these small 20-inch range that you can't even get a turkey in the oven during Thanksgiving. Right now, housing has just partially renovated the house for experimental sakes. And we'll start renovating more houses once the contractor gets all his supplies in. Complete renovation should begin in May, when approximately 10 houses a month will be improved upon. Well, as soon as we get one house completely done, we're going to have a, an open house and we'll invite the, the occupants that live around the area to walk through the unit to see what we've really done. And like I said, I think they'll be thoroughly impressed. For Newsline Rota, I'm Seaman Eddie Pagan. The resident officer in charge recently started renovating some old base housing units that were in need of some major repairs. And one of the things that we see here in Rhoda is about a $10 million project to upgrade all of on-base housing. What changes will the new residents expect? It involves changing out floors, bathrooms, the heaters, uh, some windows. There's a lot of things going on. As the tenants move out, the contractors will move in. They've been hired to complete the job on 486 of the old base housing units. Contract calls for it to be done in three years. In actual fact, uh, we did a practice house where we just did the floor and the bathrooms without all the other changes. And we did that in less than 10 days. So the contractor and myself is pretty confident that we'll be able to finish it before the three years is up. If you'd like to get a look at the improvements, the model home located at 880 Granada Avenue should be completed in about a month. We're going to open it probably the 1st of May, something like that, and let all of the public here on base come visit the house so they can get a sense of what the changes are going to be. For Newsline Rota, I'm Petty Officer Jody Popovich. Continue at 880 Granada Avenue. The old base housing unit is currently undergoing major renovations that will take approximately two more weeks to complete. They've come along really well. They've uh, taken out all the doors, all the light switches and outlets, taken out all the uh, things in the bathroom and here in the kitchen. The house has been pretty much gutted in the last week, but some more preparations must be made before the contractors actually start putting the unit back together. This, this is gutted. <laughs> we still have tile to take off the wall, and they only just now started taking out the uh, floor, this cork flooring that's in here. Contract currently calls for a new heating system with ductwork, all new cabinets and doors, some frames, new windows, floors, and some bathroom fixtures. You know, if we do get the money, which a lot of people are working hard to do, uh, that heating duct work will also carry air conditioning. We're working hard on that, and, and we're going to try and get air conditioning for all these houses. For Newsline Rota, I'm Navy journalist Jody Popovich. To improve military personnel's quality of life, the housing department has begun renovating old base and user housing. Friday, there was a ribbon cutting ceremony for the first user house that had been completely renovated. Once the ribbon was cut by Captain Richard Sims, commander of the United States Naval Activities Road of Spain, it was open for all housing residents to see. Oh, the house is beautiful. It's, it's uh, definitely a big improvement. I live right down the street, and uh, this is, this is a, a drastic improvement over what we currently have. And, and I just can't wait for him to start upgrading all the other quarters so we can all uh, get the same quality of life that the people that move into this house are going to have. It's gorgeous. They've done a beautiful job. Anybody moving in will be quite surprised. It's very nice. The rooms themselves have been improved. There's beautiful wooden doors and sliding windows with uh, wood you know, water around them. It really looks nice. Uh, Inside the house, there's a washer and a dryer, and his closet spaces are expanded. Mr. Bill Hatfield, the housing director, is satisfied with the product. First of all, I love it. It's more functional, the, the way the kitchen's laid out. You've got your washer and dryer inside. You don't have to go outside in the elements to, to do your laundry. 
uh, just the, uh, the new windows and the sliding glass doors and things like this, it's really brightened, brightened up the house, made it a much more habitable house, much more functional. For Newsline Rota, I'm Navy journalist Eddie Pagan reporting. Renovations are still continuing at 880 Granada Avenue. The renovation started about four weeks ago and it should be completed by the end of May. House 880 will be assigned to a new tenant when completed. Housing has plans to make another house a model home. This house, uh, I was informed, got assigned to somebody. So we're going to do the ribbon co cutting right up the street on uh, you know, house 934. House 934. And in fact, uh, housing has plans to keep that open for a couple, two or three months so that everybody on base can come through. It'll be like our model house or open house. This week, the internal fixtures of the house were completed and the floor tiles will soon be put in. This week, in fact, what we have is uh, all, the, all the inside stuff is that you don't normally see, like the plumbing in the walls and the new electrical boxes. All that has been now taken care of. The next step will be to uh, start tiling the floors and tiling the walls. One of the improvements added to the plumbing of the house is a new version of the P-trap. As you can see, we're, we're going to, uh, we've changed out them old drains and put in new drains. And if you take off the top cover of this, uh, uh, it's like a P-trap, but it's a Spanish version of the P-trap. In case you lose a ring or something down the sink, it'll fall right in the bottom of this, um, P -trap. For Newsline Road, I'm Petty Officer Curtis Crosby. Housing renovations began in late April in the house on 880 Granada Street. Now, several weeks later, that first home is near completion. That all the tile in the kitchen is up and all the tile in the bathroom is up as well. I think the progress has come along real well. It's fell in there working now up on the ceiling. He's got to finish the ceiling, and once he's finished, then we'll start with the floor tile. Once the floor towel is installed, the contractors will put in the kitchen cabinets, the bathtub, shower, and sinks. The finishing touches on that house should begin in 10 days, but that will not be the model home for everyone in the housing community. 934 on Logrona, which is right kind of catty from the uh, school, is going to be the model house. Uh, housing had promised this house to someone, and rather than keep them waiting, we're going to give 934 and keep that open for a couple, two or three months, so everybody on base will have a chance to look through a finished house. For Newsline Rota, I'm Navy journalist Eddie Pagan reporting. The bathroom is up as well. I think the progress has come along real well. This fell in there working now up on the ceiling. He's got to finish the ceiling, and once he's finished, then we'll start with the floor tile. Once the floor tile is installed, the contractors will put in the kitchen cabinets, the bathtub, shower, and sinks. The finishing touches on that house should begin in 10 days, but that will not be the model home for everyone in the housing community. 934 on Logrona, which is right kind of catty corny from the uh, school, is going to be the model house. Uh, housing had promised this house to someone, and rather than keep them waiting, we're going to give 934 and keep that open for a couple, two or three months, so everybody on base will have a chance to look through a finished house. For Newsline Rota, I'm Navy journalist Eddie Pagan reporting.